We turn now to Arizona, where the architect of the state's controversial anti-immigration law lost a major recall election Tuesday night. State Senator Russell Pierce was challenged by fellow Republican Jerry Lewis. Pierce wrote Senate Bill 1070, which requires police to investigate the immigration status of people they have lawfully detained. He was also behind an effort to pass legislation aiming to give the state discretion to deny citizenship to the children of undocumented immigrants. Pierce is the first Arizona legislator ever to lose a recall election. He'll be required to step down immediately. Uh, Pierce conceded defeat in a brief press conference in the city of Mesa, surrounded by politicians, friends, and controversial Maricopa County Sheriff Joe Arpaio. As I intend to spend a little time with my God, my wife, my family, and reassess where we need to go, but I want to make something very clear. If being recalled is the price for keeping one's promises, then so be it. I've always kept my promises. I've always put my loyalty to this republic, the rule of law, and the moral principles that folks have died for from the beginning of this great republic have had of any personal interest. I will continue to do that. I will always keep my promises. I will always keep my oath of office. I will always defend this republic and the rule of law. And with that, thank you very much. God bless. Recalled Arizona State Senator Russell Pierce, the first Arizona legislator ever to lose a recall election. Pierce's supporters mostly criticized the recall, saying opponents should have waited until the regular primary election. For immigrant rights activists, the recall marked the success of a new political organizing strategy that brought together a diverse array of voters representing various religious and political affiliations. While the immigration law SB 1070 wasn't the main focus of the recall, it did much to motivate voters to join the movement, especially Latino voters, who make up about 13,000 of the district's 70,000 registered voters. We're going to Phoenix now to speak with Petra Falcon. She is the executive director of Promise Arizona, an immigrant rights group. Welcome to Democracy Now! Petra, how did this recall take place? How how significant is it to you? It, uh, good morning, uh, Amy, and thank you for uh, inviting me to Democracy Now! This, uh, this recall has taken place over the course of this year. But Citizens for Better Arizona took out petitions. They collected over 10,000 verified voters in the district to place them on, on the ballot for, on November 8th. And uh, what it took was the community to come together in, in Mesa, Arizona. It's, the district has over 100,000 residents. And uh, the voters spoke uh, on Tuesday. They spoke that about values. It, this was a contest over uh, two high-profile Republican Mormon members uh, of, of, of that church. And uh, people had a choice. They had a choice between someone who demonized immigrants, somebody who divided our state, somebody who cast distrust in democracy over somebody who was talking about bringing the community together, uh, living his values, uh, as he uh, had been a resident in Mesa for over 30 years. And then, quite frankly, the, the voters, the voters themselves, 70 percent, over 70 percent of the voters voted early by mail. And on Election Day, over 6,000 people uh, voted. So Mr. Lewis vo uh, won the early ballot election, in, and he won the, the election on the day of the election. And the Latino community had a significant role. Uh, there's 13,000, as you said, 13,000 registered voters. Uh, over 4,000 requested an early ballot. We still don't know the, the full analysis, but, but we know that over 2,000 Latinos voted early. So, again, uh, I think uh, yesterday was an opportunity for people to speak uh, of what they cared about. And Latinos care about everything else, like all Americans do. They want to live in safe communities. They want to have aspirations for their children. And, and that's what they said. And going door to door, people said, we need to believe in democracy. And we had a representative that did not represent those values. And, and we now see a new day in, in Mesa, Arizona, and uh, across the state and across this country. We do see this as an opportunity of, of understanding how to put the coalitions together that can fight back, back 
these bad legislations. Mr. Pierce was the the, the harshest proponent of, of of laws against immigrants, and we, we we are very grateful for the voters in Mesa, Arizona, that spoke. Well, I'd like to ask you about uh, uh, what Pierce symbolized uh, a little more, and also the fact that there was Joe Arpaio by his side on the night of his loss, and Joe Arpaio is still the sheriff of Maricopa County, another uh, national figure almost in terms of uh, this uh, this uh, this draconian approach to the immigration problems uh, in the country. Could you talk about uh, the significance nationally of this? Well, I think it's it's the it talks about the division uh, around you know how people want to approach immigration reform. Uh, it's it's it, they, you know, they talk about the rule of law, which is great, and we all are about the rule of law. But we also need to talk about humane and just reform that keeps uh, families apart, that you know hasn't stopped deportation, and that's one of the first things Mr. Lewis. Was uh, was uh, was recorded to saying we have to we have to stop these deportations we have to think about civility and we have to stop separating families. Uh, the district is 43 percent uh, Latino and there's obviously a lot of immigration families all across our state and and we need to address that rather than always trying to keep dividing the state and I think this is a wonderful step. Yes, Joe Arpaio was by his side. Uh, but I think the message on Tuesday was that's not the kind of politics we want in Arizona. We want to think about the economy. We want to think about all families. We want to think about education. You know, Mr. Pierce cut back $450 million in education programs, and that is what we kept hearing at the door. We need solutions. We don't need to, to have all this negativity and all this extremism. And that's what I think, uh, we think, uh, Russell Pierce and Joe Arpaio represent is extremism. And Tuesday, there was a clear message that that is not what we want our state to be about. And, of course, the man who beat him, Jerry Lewis, is also a Republican. He's a Republican. Yes, he is. Uh, and, in fact, one of the things he's doing today is actually having uh, a, a conversations with the National Immigration Forum, because, that's again, that's one of the things he had uh, been uh, using as his talking points. We have to address this broken system. And uh, I'm really happy that he's doing that as a first step. He has recognized that the Latino community had a lot to do with his election on Tuesday.